Hello friends, this video on matter and magnetism part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 21 before going ahead with part 22. Let's go ahead to paramagnetic substances. Now when we come to paramagnetic substance, here the individual constituents have net magnetic moment of their own. So they will have a net magnetic moment. That means they will be already magnetized. They will have some net magnetic moment. But they, even then when we put them in external magnetic field, then what happens? The individual dipole moments align along the external magnetic field. That means however they have some net magnetic moment, but when we apply an external magnetic field, those magnetic moments, they all align themselves, they all tend to align themselves along the direction of the applied field. In this case, the magnetic field lines prefer to pass through the specimen. That means magnetic field lines are kind of getting attracted by the specimen. So it is quite different from what we observed in the previous case for diamagnetic materials, right? In this case, magnetic susceptibility is positive because here you can see for yourself that the degree of magnetization in response to the magnetic field is little more than that of diamagnetic substance. So here the magnetic susceptibility is positive. So here we can say that so mu r is chi m plus 1. Now this is positive that means something some positive number will always get added to 1. So this implies that mu r will be greater than 1. So in this case magnetic permeability will always be greater than 1 or we can say that mu divided by mu naught is greater than 1 or we can say mu will be always greater than mu naught in case of paramagnetic substances. Now is the term for the third type that is ferromagnetic in ferromagnetic substances also, the individual constituents have net magnetic moment of their own. So in this point, it is similar to paramagnetic. Both paramagnetic and ferromagnetic will have a net magnetic moment of their own. But in this case, something different that happens is domain formation. Now what is this domain formation? We will talk about domain formation when we talk about the theory behind each of these um, categories right but this is a special thing that happens in case of ferromagnetic substances that is domain formation and when external magnetic field is applied what happens the magnetic moments of different domains are aligned and the substance gets strongly magnetized so this, this is how it is different from paramagnetic. In paramagnetic substances what happens they have a magnetic moment of their own when external field is applied all the magnetic moments tend to align them along the direction of magnetic field. In this case, they also have a net magnetic moment of their own, but in ma external magnetic field, they, they also try to align themselves in the direction of field. But in this case, the substance gets very strongly magnetized. It was already more magnetized. It gets all the more magnetized. Here also the magnetic field lines prefer to pass through the specimen. Magnetic susceptibility is positive and very large because here the substance is getting strongly magnetized, right? So the degree of magnetization with resp in response to the applied field is quite large. So in this case, what will happen to your permeability? Permeability is chi plus 1. So obviously this is now a positive as well as a very large value. So mu r in this case will be quite greater than 1. In fact, it will be very, very greater than 1 because the sky is going to be quite large this time. So here you can see that mu by mu naught is very, very greater than 1 or mu will be very, very greater than mu naught. Right? So these are the three categories of or these are the three classification of materials based on their magnetic properties. Now we will look at the theories behind these behavior. I mean, what is the exact cause of these different kinds of behavior. So before that, let me give you some examples of diamagnetic, paramagnetic and ferromagnetic materials. When I talk of diamagnetic, under diamagnetic comes copper, gold, quartz, mercury, water, alcohol, hydrogen. 
Similarly, under paramagnetic comes aluminium, platinum, chromium, manganese, copper sulfate. Under ferromagnetic comes iron, nickel, cobalt and alloys of iron, cobalt and nickel. If you see, these ferromagnetic materials are basically those materials which are very strongly magnetized. That is why we say that normally you would have seen that when you bring a magnet near something, the nails get attracted very fast. That iron or iron, nickel, cobalt, these things, these ferromagnetic uh, category they have got very strong magnetic properties because of because they are very strongly magnetized right so these are some of the examples thank you please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thank you once again